So... gonna jump today straight away talking about what happened in London yesterday. Today there's not going to be much activity, it's going to be an explanation day. Also I cannot hear out of this ear, I'm not quite sure why. Uh. If you haven't been following me for the last 24 hours, yesterday I was in London. I likely covered in yesterday's video about this final meeting discussing about blockers and hormones being extremely, extremely awkward from my perspective and how I felt on the spot and I was just... Uh. So I am having a change with my blockers. I'm going to be having my injections every 8 weeks instead of every 10 weeks. I think the main factor of what everyone wants to know about is what's happening with estrogen. I hate it when YouTubers drag it out when they're about to answer a very important question. <laughs> I'm sorry. My doctors gave me three options. Option number one, not start estrogen and get off blockers and resume my normal day life as a biological boy, which would be hell and I would not be able to cope. Number two being to stay on blockers and work out things going on and see if I want to start estrogen, if I don't want to start estrogen. Or option number three, to start estrogen within a certain amount of time. Out of the three options, I picked option number three. That is to start estrogen very soon. I honestly feel there is no possibility of me to detransition ever. And what's so bad about being a boy? The fact that I'm not one. I I never was and I never will be and I ugh. Time for the Q&A. Play the intro. If you don't want to watch the Q&A, skip to the time in this roll and then that will be the vlog continued. How was it like to come out? Very scary, even though I knew that my parents were going to accept me. If you were to be in a movie, what kind of movie would it be? So the script would be, there's a zombie apocalypse, there's a random teenager who comes out as trans, and somehow zombies don't kill trans people, and then the love interests are these two biological males who are attracted to this trans person, and then... I, I, I can't think of anything else. I'm sorry. Comment down below if you think I should do a film like that. <laughs> do you like dogs? Of course I like dogs. I've got two. Do you ever regret doing all of this in relation to transgender related stuff? Of course there's things that I don't like about transitioning. To regret something I think is a strong word. Like I regret none of it. But there are some things such as leaving school, losing a bunch of friends, and so many different things that I really dislike about transitioning. And there's a quote that I really, really like. To me, transitioning is a radical act of self-love. I didn't transition because I hated myself, it was because I love myself enough to believe I deserve to be happy while I'm alive. And I stick by that. I didn't do it because I hated how I looked. I did it because I loved myself enough to become happy. How were your brothers informed on you being trans? How have they reacted to how they are acting now? I have one brother that lives with me and another brother who lives in Sweden. I also have two sisters, one that lives in Limington and one that lives in Cardiff. I think my mum had like a one-to-one -one conversation with the brother that lived with me and for the three other family members, they phoned them up. My brother that lives with me, he's very open about stuff and he gets really angry at transphobic stuff. The sister that lives in Limington, they bought me a hoodie on day two of being out. The sister that lives in Cardiff, they gave me a phone call and they were like, it's all okay. My brother that lives in Sweden, he just was like, yeah, chill, whatever, you know, do your thing, live your life, be happy. And to be honest, all of my family are heavily accepting. Do you still play Pokemon Go? 
Not really. What's your favourite Pokemon? I like this Pokemon, it's called Garchomp. When did your parents start calling you Hannah and why did you choose the name Hannah in particular? The second I came out, my parents started calling me Hannah. There was slip ups for ages but it was all okay within the first month. I chose the name Hannah because in year three, I was doing this boy be girl, girl be boy kind of day for charity. My entire class picked the name Hannah for me. So, you know, talk about peer pressure. Do you want slash like children? I don't really want children. I know when transitioning, you have to consider about how are you gonna free sperm and all of that stuff. Children, I, I don't see myself in five years time, 10 years time with children. I, I just don't see that. How can you be so amazing? Honey, I'm a queen. So are you going to common people? I do not plan to go to common people this year. How have you dealt with growing up? I hate it every day. I hate growing up. How do you feel now that you are changing into your true self? I don't feel as if it's only just started now. I think my entire life I've been changing into who I am. Everything that happened before I transitioned fully has affected how I feel now and how I am me. How do you deal with past issuers? I don't know if you spelt that wrong, but I'm gonna answer past issues and past people that cause you issues. The way I've dealt with past issues is to completely and utterly change. Let me expand on that. For example, the college situation. Everyone knows that it's affected me completely and utterly and changed me as a person. And the way I dealt with that was to become a better YouTuber and make my videos a better quality and better all round. So that one day I can go back to that college and be like, ha, I'm a YouTuber, look at me now, you knew nothing. Cause once I got told that I'd never be a performer, ever, 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 and my views on how theatre should be was completely and utterly wrong. I then joined a dance school, and honey, I rocked that stage, and then I went back to that old dance school, and I was like, look at me now. And that wraps it up for today's Q and <laughs> early 2012 I used to use this area to record and film gaming videos for YouTube and since I've been daily vlogging I have filmed the total of zero videos which are based only about video games. How this channel started off was just people who watched my video games videos moving over to this channel who then left. Now, I made a video a few days ago talking about how I just wanted to make this sort of video. However, my studio is getting completely redone and that was the focus for this year. And it just so happens that this arrived yesterday. This is the- Time is 2046. 2046 in the PM. And there's one thing that I found which is really annoying me. And yes, hanging that hammock did take about four hours to do. I'm just, I'm so annoyed. The thing that's been really annoying me is that down here is 130 pounds worth of headphones. Now you may be saying, Hannah, why do you keep extremely expensive headphones such as these on the floor. Well, the thing is, I don't. This is going to be the new headphone hanger. And it's aluminium. As Thursdays are completely and utterly, usually just chatty, question answering videos, throughout the day, I get a few messages. And in the last four hours, I've already been asked a couple more questions. Where do you get your music from? I'm sorry if you've answered this already. You're just in time because I get my music from Epidemic Sounds, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Why are you redecorating the studio? There is a reason. I will tell everyone 
very, very soon. I say that, so probably not very soon, but you know, there is a reason. How did you come up with the theme for all your speeches for 2017? If you didn't know, I came up with the theme of becoming the real you or being the real you. At the beginning of each year, I have a criteria of things that happened in the year prior. This being said, so many people asked me how did I get to be where I am and how did I get to do what I do? I saw this also related to the theme of people coming out and then doing what they want to do because a lot of trans people just want to identify as them and not usually with the label of being trans. If you could make one sort of video for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would make daily vlogs every single day and that is what I'm going to do. But with that being said, I have to go for my dinner, and yes, I haven't had any lunch today. I am, I'm a bad human being.